hello, mic, mic test, hello? Can you, can you hear me? I hope so. Oh God, it's gonna get so hot in here. I don't want to. I don't want to do the thing. Okay, so t oh, you know what? I didn't grab. I can grab them later after I work on the NES. But I didn't grab all the games, and I'm gonna fucking clean. <clears throat> Hello? Is it working? Hello? Oh jeez. I'm hot. Oh thanks, Tony. I gotta try and make this chat bigger. Tony, how do I make the chat bigger? Big? I need it big. Okay, what if I what if I pop this out? And bring it over here. How how you zoom? Is it control plus? Or is it Oh Okay. That might work, Tony. I don't know. I'm workshopping this right now as we speak. Okay, well, let's just get to it, I guess. Hopefully I can read the chat now. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. So I got my soldering iron. I worked on the focus and shit too, so. So it should be better. I know I can kind of see a little better. Huh? Don't worry, it's not on. Okay, um. So today. I'm going to make sure that this thing is like 100% reliable and clean it up a little bit. There's a little bit of grossness there. It's kind of hard to see. But it's there, man. It's there. Oh, yeah, I can read that chat really good now. Okay. Uh, but I'm also going to bypass the uh, the one chip or the SNES 10 chip thing. Um, but that's how you do that. I did this one earlier. One of the solder joints looks kind of ugly, but the other ones are okay. But that there disables um, this chip here. It, 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 it fingered. Uh, the zoom is so much. Uh, uh. This chip. It disables that chip. And that's the chip that makes it, it blink and stuff. So, so yeah. Pretty cool beans. So I'm going to have that there as a template to what I'm doing. And I hopefully won't burn myself. I have to get my face like way up in this shit too. To see what I'm doing when I'm soldering. But anyways, let's start with disassembling the NES. This is one of three that I have. This is two of three that I have. This was the one that I bought a couple of weeks ago. But um, yeah, I don't know. It should be cool. And then I have my childhood one in the closet. I need to fix that. And to do that, I think I need to change its voltage regulator out, which is that thingy right there. That thing. Right there. A voltage regulator. So. Anyways, on with the stuff. So, so you get your Phillips out. See this one? This one. And then we unscrew all the screws. It'll be good times. And all the screws here are from the other NES, so I gotta remember to not mix them, okay? Okay, cool, thanks. I think there's six. It, oh god, I'm fucking everything up already. Beautiful. Absolute beauty. My second cam's a lot better now, too, but turns out I need a dummy battery for it. I can't just hook it up to USB power like I can this one right here that one um so i'm probably gonna be changing out batteries a lot and hopefully i have enough to last the stream and hopefully everything works i've got like fucking four hdmis going into that computer and i have the pbm all hooked up and ready to to go to test all this shit but basically i just want to make this thing 100 percent reliable so I'm going to change out the 72 pin connector with the refurbished um, original one. That 72 pin connector is uh, this thing. This thing right here. That's what the games plug into. They go, ka -chick! And then you play them. It's pretty cool. Let me know how the audio levels are, Tony. I don't know. They sound good in my ear holes. 
but they're also kind of having to travel through a little bit of fabric with the hat. Okay, so we have the six screws out of the Nintendo Entertainment System. Okay, sounds good, good. Okay, and so now we take the top off. No, okay. Um, <clears throat> so this one's pretty clean. I gotta clean that up though. Again, I already showed that. <laughs> Put that over shit. There's so many things over here, Tony. You know what I should do is turn that fan on more, but whatever. Okay, so now we have the top off of the NES. Ooh, he's good. So now we're going to take the top shield off. I don't think I've ever had this one taken apart yet. So we'll see how it goes, huh? Maybe I did. No, I bought it with the 72 pin already um, redone, you know. So should I do it with this one? Let's see, let's see how well it fits. Fits pretty good. So how's your day, Tony? I saw your um, Discord thing about Brenda. What's what's that about? I'm just, oh my god, there's a fucking screw missing in this one. <gasps> Whoever had this apart lost a fucking screw. What a dick. Can't believe it. Can't even remember. Okay, fair enough. <sighs> eh. I'm not used to doing this with gloves on. So, Brando went on. Oh, okay. Well, why do you say he was being selfish? He should watch his stream and come in and, you know, just chill, man. And this chill, Tony? You like my metal shirt? Isn't it cool? So normally, I think there's, yeah, there's seven screws on this top shield, but since this prick lost one, you love it? Good. But yeah, since, since this prick lost one, there's only six. <laughs> okay. So, now we have all these screws off, but there's um some plastic tabs. See right there. Uh, right, right there, right up there. Gotta be really careful to not break those. To delicate. Okay. <clears throat> In this part, I don't think the top um, covers too finicky. Obviously, came right off, right there. So there's the top RF shield, majiggy. Beautiful. Okay, where did I put that one? We'll put these pieces over there. Okay, so now we can take this majiggy off. Okay, I'm just having fun. Um, so I totally remember how to do all of this, I promise. So there's, we can keep all those screws there. Okay, so I'll take all the screws out of this one and then that one. Because I don't think I really need to clean this one. It's not that dirty. Luckily. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want some some uh, really close screw in action? I'll do that for the really important screws. It'll be beautiful. Absolute beauty. <sighs> Hopefully by the end of the stream, I'll have it all modded, even though it's an incredibly simple mod. Those two little wires added. Luckily, most of these screws are exactly the same, too, with this whole thing. So that's very nice, though. Oh, yeah, you love a good screw in action? Cool, man. You re Okay, here we go. Got some ASMR screwing right here. Okay, you see that screw? Zoom in a little more. You see it? These ones are different. They go all the way through. Okay. These are the only different screws in here, I think. Is it focused? It doesn't, doesn't really look like it. Uh, 
There we go, baby. I opened the aperture up like as much as I could, but that might be too close of a zoom for the to auto focus. Plus the lighting's weird. So we'll put those screws off to the side. Now we have one on the other side. Oh no, I knocked my flux over. Don't worry, everything's fine. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Unscrewing it. Oh yeah. Okay. We're just having fun here. Okay, so can I? Okay. There. Now we have the front loading mechanism off. Look, look how cool it is. It's so cool. Okay. Um, so I'll put that down there. Now I shouldn't have to get any deeper. No, that's not true because I'm putting a 72 pin in. Never mind, everyone. Never mind. <clears throat> okay, so to take all of it out, going to, there's two screws, um, right here. There's one there. And there's one there. Hard to see, but it's there. So I'm going to take these two out, and then we should be able to lift this out, and then we'll disconnect um, the controller ports and the power and reset switch. It would be beautiful. Just trying to get that screw out. Don't worry, everything's fine. Okay? Everything is fine. Don't worry, I know how to do this. I'm a professional. Professional! I mean, it's such a good idea that I put that lens on there. Okay. Got it. Okay. So now, we take these out. You gotta be careful. 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 Because now we have to take the ribbon cables off. And this part's scary because these things are, like, really stubborn. They're really very, very stubborn. So we'll get the power switch one first. It's this one, the blue one. It's fine. I'm, I'm trying to pay more attention to like what I'm actually doing instead of the camera work during certain parts so I don't break this. And then everything's just ruined. Okay, there's that one. Controller port two. Now controller port one. Okay. And there we go. Easy peasy squeezy lemons. Huh? Old and brittle. I don't know. They seem pretty malleable. But now here here we go. There's the bottom shell. Pretty clean, thankfully. So I'll just put that to the side because I don't have to fuck with that at all. Hey. Can you see my butt when I bend down? Okay, good. No. Okay, good. Everything's fine. Okay. Oh, God. It's going to get so hot in here. There's three lights, two cameras, two computers. Ugh. Okay, so now we remove the motherboard from the bottom shell carefully. So there's the bottom shield. You know I just said shell? It's a shield. Okay, so now. That 72 pin actually doesn't look too bad. It really doesn't. It could do with a little bit of a cleaning, I guess. I should have got, like, actual real good sandpaper. But that this one doesn't look like a replacement. This one looks original. So, okay. Whatever. Um, I guess we could start off with a good brushing. It's a toothbrush. See? You want to see? It's a toothbrush. Okay, have fun, Tony. Have fun lurking. Toothbrush. We're gonna brush, brush, brush. Brush, brush, brush. Brush, 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 brush. I'm just, sorry, I'm weird. Okay. 
I'm so used to doing this stuff all on my lonesome. So I got some 99 isopropyl. See right here, 99 isopropyl. So I got the brush all nice and wet. A little bit, kind of. And actually, let's, um, don't worry, I know how to zoom. I promise. Oh, it's evaporating as we speak. Okay, so I'm going to take the 72 pin off of here. Beautiful. So now there's the board. I guess we can clean that. Doesn't look bad, though. So we have the 72 pin. I'm going to brush, brush. 72 pin. Brush, brush. Is it still wet? Kind of. Just get in there. Someone has some very loud music outside. I could feel it. I can't really hear it that well, but I could feel it, man. Okay, so there's that. I don't know where that... Hmm. I mean, it kind of looks oxidized a little bit. But I guess... We could just go through with this and then test it with a bunch of games. Because the one thing I need is, like, really, really fine sandpaper that I don't have right now. And actually get in there and, and sand just a touch of the metal off. So we'll let that dry for now. And then now we can perform the mod. This one. Um basically bypassing that lockout chip the 10 nest chip this one right here that one yeah this one's in like really good shape so it looks like flux from the factory too kind of hard to see in the camera but okay anyways Let's, uh, let's do the mod. This is the scary part, everybody. Okay. So I uh, have that one for reference. Just making sure the board is exactly the same as well. It should be. But just making sure. This part's stressful, like, on camera. I've never soldered on camera before. So, now. Oh. Okay. So now I'm going to turn my solder my jiggy on. It's over here. You can kind of see it. Just see it light up a little bit here. Let's uh, put the cap on that. Okay. Hmm. Boop. Okay. So now my iron is heating up. I might take one of these gloves off because I don't want to accidentally melt plastic to my skin on stream. That would be bad. That would be very bad. Okay. So, I don't know how tight I'm going to get on here. Probably, like, as tight as I can. Steady, st Hi, John. How's it going? Yeah, this thing is uh, 331 degrees Celsius. The heating element. Yeah, so tight. We don't have to be that tight. Well, maybe, I don't know. I just have to make sure I have this so I can forget it because once I start soldering, it's going to be scary. You can kind of see the tip a little bit oxidized. <laughs> so, I'll have to clean that off a little bit. But that's okay. Okay, I'll clean it. There we go. Nice, clean knife edge tip. Fuck yeah. Ugh. Uh -huh. Okay, so first things first, though. Let's cut the wires. I have these right here. See? 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 Don't worry. Don't worry. I have the wires right here. Everything's good. So we don't have to get very long with them. Pull out some, though. 
I'm just eyeballing it here. That looks beautiful. Okay. So we'll put that over there. Put that over there. And then, then now we will strip. Strip the sea wire. See that? Eh? I'm gonna use the smallest one. Anyway, the smallest one. Okay, now, now I have to just concentrate on this. Okay, that looks good. So I'm only going to strip that one piece first. And get it all soldered to the board. So we'll set that aside for now. And now we'll get ready with the flux. Keep in mind, everyone, all two of you that I am an incredibly novice solderer technician solder man I don't know but here's some flux pretty this helps the solder flow more easily so we'll take that off Ooh, yeah. okay so we'll put it on the first one that I'm going to solder which is this one right here okay so I got a drop on there already Nice and pretty. Okay. Is that good enough? So, yeah. That's definitely enough flux for a bit. Don't need a whole lot. Don't want to melt my toothbrush out again. Okay. So, now we'll get our solder. It's beautiful. Okay, so, I don't know, that looks good, right? Okay, now full concentration mode, everything's fine. So I just want to get a bit on the tip here. Tin up the tip. <laughs> I'm going to go turn my fan up, too, really quick. I will be right back. Oh, wait, no, I have the fucking remote right here. My God. Everything is fine. Okay, you guys ready? You guys ready? L let's go for medium fan. Okay, it's spinning faster. Beautiful. Okay, so we tinned the tip. Hopefully it hasn't oxidized too much already. Okay, so now... You know what? I probably left it too long. I'm going to clean the tip and then tin it just a little bit again. Hey... I don't know what you guys can see. Okay. So now I'm just going to add some more solder to this. Make it easier. Can I get tighter on that? Not really, unless I bring the camera closer. Come on, where's the aperture at? Let's see. Open it just a little bit. Okay. Now it'll focus better. Alrighty, baby. So there's that. So now we will perform our first um, joint or whatever. Yeah, I'm going to be blocking like all of this. I just want you guys to kind of be able to see it. Okay, so it's that one. Okay, so we want to move it down. More. Okay, don't worry. Professional. Oh, dang it. I pulled it too soon. I didn't let the, the solder get all... Okay, not the best joint in the world. But, I mean, it, it'll work. I have no idea what that looked like for you guys. But there we go. <laughs> Got it. See? Beautiful. So there's that part. So now we got to bring it down to this guy right here. <laughs> It's so hard for you guys to fucking see. 
Granted, it's hard for me to see too. So what I'm going to do is add some flux to that guy. As soon as I find him again, okay. Can you see this? Kinda. Nope, it's this one. Okay. So there's a little drop. This little bit goes a long, long way. Okay, so now we're gonna add some more solder to that. So I'm cleaning the tip again over here. I just have to try and remember like what is in the ab absolute center frame and then not move the fucking board. And then you guys will kind of be able to see what I'm doing here. Okay. Ugh. Okay, so there's that. So now we're going to add some more solder to this little part here. Oh my god. Thanks for the sub, Brendo! Twitch Prime, six months, man. Thank you! I got itch on my nose. Sorry. Anyways, now adding more solder to this little joint right here. Okay, looks good. Link to the party. No, I'm just, um, this is what I'm doing. This is one that I did earlier. This was the, my most recent NES purchase, the one that I'm completely refurbishing. But it's hard to see because I used fucking green wires and how the lighting is. But all I'm doing is adding two wires to the motherboard. So this is what I did earlier. And what this does is it disables the lockout chip, which is this chip right here the 10 nest chip and that's why this thing was so unreliable you put a game in it doesn't have perfect connection with all the pins even just like a little just fucking not so good connection with the pin and the 10 nest chip in the cart and the board right here didn't really talk to each other so that's why you got that blinking light and adding these two wires tricks the NES into bypassing that so it's like the lockout chip doesn't even exist anymore, which is perfect. There's my thumb. It's up. Okay, so that's what we're doing to this one. So I'm just going through my very novice process of soldering. So I just added some more solder to... I need like a higher angle. Just give me a second. That's lower. The, yeah, oh yeah, the screwing way and it, oh my god, this thing gets up there, baby. Let's zoom out. <sighs> oh yeah. It'll give you a little bit better view of stuff. Okay. So anyways... Let's see, do I have like a little... I do have tweezers that I'm probably going to need. So anyways, right there, I did tip it to tweezers. It's hard to see because everything's so shiny. But I added some more solder to that. I'm going to build while you're building. Ooh. What do you mean broke stream? Yeah, I'll fix your nest, John, if you want me to. So anyways, now I gotta strip this wire. My hands are probably gonna be in the way of all of this because I don't have like a super professional setup and I would like to actually see what I'm doing. But I'll try and get there. I guess we can test my solder joint. Oh, please don't break. It didn't break. My solder joint didn't break. Okay, that's good. But also that was a terrible stripping job. Trust me, I know. I mean, having to do this blind fucking sucks. Okay. So, now we could try and route this, and hopefully I left enough room to do it. Let's see. I don't think I did, so I could just route it a different way, though. 
I know you guys probably can't see anything right now. Okay, then I'll get there. Cool. <sighs> oh, it froze for a minute. PC in the middle room? I mean, you can. You can, John. You guys like my gloves? I put gloves on for you guys so you didn't have to watch my incredibly super white hands. Okay, sorry. Yeah, doing this on camera is a thing. Cause that wire looks fucked. But only just kinda, so it's fine. We will soldier on. I'll route it around. <laughs> it might have to take my glove now. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got him there, baby. So now I just have to make that joint and actually, you know, make it solid. I mean, having to do this on camera and then trying to keep up with chat and all that shit, it's terrifying. Okay, so just for good measure, we'll put some more flux on there. Make sure everything flows beautifully. So just a little teeny drop like that. And then we'll tin the tip. This is terrifying. Okay. Okay, so you guys can kind of see the joint. This is the tightest zoom I can get it. So, so we're just going to make that joint and make it be for realsies. Not the cleanest joint, but I mean, I'm pretty sure it's on there. Can always do the pull test on it. I'm pulling pretty good, so it's on there. So there's one wire. Dunzo. Halfway there. Oh, you love watching me tin? What do you mean I shake so much? It, it's The zoom is so tight, Tony. So anyways, now we'll get the other wire. Um, here's my wire right here. Okay, you see? See, there it is. It's beautiful. I don't have Parkinson's. You guys come over here and, and solder on camera with people watching you and judging your every move, okay? This one doesn't have to be as long. Found it. Okay, so here we go. Got another wire. It's beautiful. It's absolute beauty. Huh? Imagine if there were six people. Oh, I mean, come on over. Don't burn yourself. 331 degrees Celsius right here. Right at the tip of that. Terrifying. Okay, so we'll strip this one. I should just strip the other end of it too. Because doing that on camera is terrifying. <laughs> See, these wires fucking suck. I need to squeeze harder. Okay, sorry. DOT. I mean, the focus up here is eh. Whatever. Okay, so now I'm going to strip the other end of it. Okay, that was better. Okay. I'm hiding my viewer counts now. That way, if somehow there's like 10, and I see... If I, if I would see the number 10, I would start like... 
getting way anxious and stuff, so. So anyways, now we are going to replicate this one again. It's so hard to see, but there you go. Beautiful. Just gonna do that second wire now. <sighs> okay, so. Oh, that's probably why I routed the wire that way. Okay, kids. This might be bad news for bears. I might have to redo that. Because cause I have to solder um, um, this joint right here. The one that's touching the fucking wire. So it'll, it'll probably melt through. But hey, let's see if it does, huh? It'll be fun. Oh, yeah, that's gonna, that's, yep, this isn't gonna work. Still gonna try it. You know why? Because I'm stubborn. I don't know if you know that. Okay, so, clean the tip again, make sure there's no oxidation. And then we tin it. It's gonna melt so fucking hard. Not really adding any. I can't get a good connection with it. I'm just adding more to the tip. Everything's bad. Rookie mistake. Okay. I kinda got a little bit on there, but it looks like shit. Okay, that doesn't look as bad. We can make this work, everybody. We can make it work. Cleaning the tip off again. And now we are going to try and join the wire. Might need tweezers for this job right here. Let's still put it there. This is, this is terrifying. Truly terrifying, everyone. Don't worry. I mean, it's fucking on there, but it looks so messy. And it's not all the way on there, because these wires are poop. So let's unweld it real quick. Cut a new wire. Yeah, if I didn't route that wire like that, this would not be an issue at all. But I did. So let's cut another wire. I just gotta act like nobody's watching. That's why the camera angle sucks right now. I'm sorry, everything's fine. Okay, wire strippers. Good and firm. <clears throat> okay, that one was cleaner than the other one. And the other side. You don't have to do anything in the strippers, Tony. Okay, so now this wire isn't as long on this end, and it's already pointed in a good direction. So we're just going to go for it again. Clean the tip. Put the wire strippers over here out of my way. Get some more solder. Get it close to where I'm actually working. Okay. All right. Mm 
It's fucking terrifying. All right, they're on there. I pulled it pretty hard, too. That actually fucking worked. Okay! Now can we make it to where else we need to make it? Yes, perfectly. It's like right there. I could probably even trim this wire a little bit. I gotta strip it again, though, too. Okay. Scary. Pull that up a little bit. I should have used different color um, wires for this. Just for the video purposes. But the only reason I'm using green wires is because it looks better against that green PCB. Okay. So there's that. Now we gotta strip it again and hopefully everything's fine. This is the terrifying part. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's like right there. Perfect. Okay, so... Just gonna try and add a little bit of solder. Um, to this one right here. That one. So always clean the tip every time. Get that oxidation off so you can get the best flow possible of the solder. Okay, actually we're gonna have to apply some more to this. Okay, here we go. Just making sure I'm doing the right one too before I just start doing shit. Okay. okay, so I got a little bit more solder there. And clean the tip again. And then we'll flux it. Okay. And then now, with the tweezers... Just route it where it needs to go, hopefully. Donezo! So clean the tip with a soldering iron. Eh. Doing that up there on the top right of frame. Beautiful. God, that's so nerve wracking when there's people watching you. It actually looks okay though. So now that we've cleaned the tip, we'll just tin it a little bit. And then put it away. Turn that off. Okay. There we go. So I'm pretty sure that's good to go. Hopefully. Doesn't look as good as my other one, but I did the other one off camera. But that should be it. Let's just make sure they're really, truly on the right ones. Got that one joint. It was so much better on the other one. But that'll do, Piggy. There's actually a little bit of solder that somehow ended up there, so I'm going to cut it off. Cut off the pin. Okay. So, now you can see, like, all the... All the flux is kind of on the board, and it looks kind of dirty, so... We'll just clean it up with some isopropyl here. Good old isopropyl. Huh? Put the wire strippers up. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So got it wet. Now we just brush, brush, brush. And I'm brushing this pretty hard too. I'm kind of testing my joints a little bit at the same time that I'm cleaning the, the flux off of there. And then while we're here brushing, we can get these pins. 
the 72 pin connects to. Kind of brush the NTSC, NTSC sticker a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. I haven't dropped any frames yet. That's cool. Because I'm in 1080p and I bumped the bitrate a little bit too. Okay. So, I mean, I think this board is ready to rock. We're ready to get it back into the machine. I just have to decide exactly what to do. Um with this guy because it looks like an OEM but I also ha have already um, refurbished some 72 pins here and these ones I know are good to go and ready to rock so I'll probably just stick one of these in there or on there and then leave this one for later to be refurbished so I'll put that in the project bin Boop. okay so Yeah, I think we're ready to rock, baby. So now we can put the 72 pin back on here. Carefully. Make sure to not like bust off any capacitors on the other side with your fingers. Okay, got it. 72 pin installed with the bypass. That you have to look kind of hard to even see, which is cool beans. So that's that's ready to go, I guess. None of this looks like it needs cleaned or anything. So now I can get a little less severe of an angle. So is it level? Let's see. Sure it's level. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So, where where did I put the bottom shell? Does anyone know? Found it. Okay. So we can throw that away. Like I don't even really need to dust this. Get that one hair out of there. Everything's fine. It's beautiful. Okay. So, now we will go in reverse order from when we disassembled it. For those of you who are not here to see that. So, you can tell the orientation because of the RF box and the power box. And, you know, it's all the outputs and they go right there. So, that means that the power switch... <laughs> It can really only go in one way to the board. So I'll just plug it in. No big deal. This stuff's really easy. And then now, this one. Let's see. I don't want to get these ones backwards. You can kind of tell, like, how they were sitting in the in the shell. Like, this one's more on the left and this one's more on the right. So we can plug the one that's more on the right into the right here. Beautiful. Make sure they're all nice and snug. It's great. Everything's beautiful here. Oh. All right. Plugged in. You turn around. Make sure they're all nice and seated. And then we just um, put the bottom shell in first. <clears throat> Do that. And you know what you should do, kids? Before you put the bottom shell on, this was just demonstration purpose. I haven't taken apart too many nests in my life, to be honest. I think we can leave that one there. Can we? Yes. Okay. So make sure the bottom shell is all there and nice. And then you could plug these in, okay, everyone? And then you can plug them in. Ugh. Oh, God. Ugh. 
Oh no, there's a hole in my glove. That's okay. There's a whole bunch of sharp pins and stuff here. So, now that that is situated, now we can finally put that in there. Let's uh, put this away. Alright, so how's everyone doing? Hopefully well. I'm going to drink some water. Okay. <sighs> I'm just making sure those joints do indeed look really good. And so far, they do. Okay. Now we can start screwing all this shit back in here. But they're also... This thing is easier to put on once you actually have the shell out. And it can really only go on one way. You just slide it on there. Make sure the holes line up. Like that. And then you can seat um, the shield back down there. I'm going to put that, the tip back on the flux. You know what? I'm going to do one more thing, actually. Just in case, like, a little teeny metal frag fragment got on the board from when I was trip er, clipping those wires. I'm just going to blow it all out. Okay. until it isn't. Never mind, it's always cool. Don't tell me to cut it. I hate it when people say it. Okay, beautiful! So, as I pointed out earlier, those little plastic pins. See? See? This one. That's why you shouldn't break them, because they guide the shield on there. And just add just a touch of stability. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This stream looks really good. I'm happy. I'm just going to check the battery level of this camera really quick, though. I'm still at 43%. That's a good battery. My dummy battery hasn't showed up yet, so. So now we are going to screw all of the things on now. We're going to um, make sure that eh, get this cap's on here. Beautiful. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh. Well, these gloves suck sometimes. So I'm going to start with the screws by the power and the RF out. Now we just give it a slight turn left. And then you can feel the screw sit down into the threads where they're supposed to go. That way you don't strip anything out. And then always make sure to not tighten these down too hard because they're going into a plastic shell. Here we go, Tony. Some more screw in action, baby. So that was that was a relatively easy mod, if it works, of course. So now we'll get the two long screws. I believe that they went here. I don't know. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I should hopefully be able to tell if it's not going in correctly. Now here's the long screws, the ones I was talking about earlier. The long silver ones, the only ones that are different colored in this whole thing. Besides the ones on a couple on the shelf, which is fine. That go in. Okay. Beautiful. And you always definitely want to be more careful with these ones on this mechanism because you screw them in too tight and then it won't work. Okay. 
Don't worry, I'll, I'll get that zoom right one day. Everything's fine. So now, there should be four more screws in the plastic part. Let's just do this quickly. Quickly, not too quickly, though. There's a fucking hair right there. Oh, God. I might end up selling this console on eBay, so I want it to be perfect. If I sell it on eBay, though, I'm going to have to take it back apart and take pictures of that mod. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Because if the refurbishment on the shell of uh, this NES goes really well, it'll end up being a better looking shell than this one. So I'll probably keep that one. Not too tight on this. Okay. <laughs> Get in there, baby. These ones are really finicky. I don't like them. Okay, just making sure it still does that good. You know? How many have you built, Brendo? How many Warhammers? Tell me. I'm curious. This one has a missing screw, damn it. I just remembered that. So there should be six left. Correct! Okay. So there's all the screws there. Make sure I didn't screw them in too tight, make sure that still works. So now we can put the top shield back on. Here it is. It's beautiful. Okay. And there are also little plastic nubbins here to guide these whatnot. So this shield just bent a little bit, so. I'm gonna get the screws in first to help hold it down. You know what I should do though before all of this? Before I, I get way too far into this is I should actually test this thing. That's what I'm gonna do, okay. So, I don't really know how I'm gonna show all this stuff off. But let's, uh, let's try. There's my PBM. You know what I can't actually do too. Hi. Hello everyone. Boop. Okay. Just improving over here. Okay. So now let's see. I gotta find it the power cord. It fell down here when I unplugged the fucking thing. Because I had it, um, I had it on top of this TV. And now I don't know where it went. Everything's just, it's all bad. Help. Okay, found it. <sighs> so I got the power. Let's get this SNES all unplugged. <sighs> oh no! The secondary camera, no! That battery exhausted. Oh, it's fucking lied to me. Okay, just give me like two seconds. Um, there we go. Beautiful. Don't don't look in my trash can. Stop it. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna change the battery out of this thing. Hopefully those ones charged over there. Or we'll see how charged the other one is. That thing is fucking hot. <sighs> Okay. Let's see how the thing plugs in there. Okay, like this. Lovely. Lovely. See if it works. How's this stream going still? Almost no drop frames, only 52. This battery fucking toast too. Might just have to say goodbye to the secondary camera for a little bit. Is it working? 
at least there's beautiful music for you guys. Yeah, that battery's toast. Okay. Eh. It's a shame. I didn't know I needed a dummy battery for this camera when I ordered it because it's like super similar to my uh, my other one, which I have plugged into USB power right now instead of not. I just want to see how much these charged in like an hour. And I completely ripped my glove open. So. Just throw that away. <coughs> Okay, now we'll see what we got. How much battery we got, baby? Oh, no, don't, don't, it says. It's just gonna show you test pictures, everything's fine. It says 100%, so. Okay. You guys saw my oven for a split second, you like my oven? It's a piece of shit. Okay, um, back to what I was doing, plugging in this NES to test it make sure it's all working. This mic was a good idea. I'm, I'm glad I bought that. Okay, so you gotta be careful. Okay, so there's the power in there. Now I gotta find the AB cables. They go on this side over here. Um, and we'll turn on this sick-ass PVM. It'll be really cool. Oh, I, I already had the power button on. But see, with no game in there, um, the light is solid. So that means, um, so far, that means my mod is working. So, okay. Um, I just wanted you guys to hear this beautiful thing. Degas, baby! Degas! Okay, so, um, let me test with a game that I know is absolutely clean, but I'll probably still clean it anyways. I'm just going to make sure. Because after I put a refurbished 72-pin um, in there, hi, you guys can see me on that camera at least, I want to make sure every single one of my games is super fucking clean. So that's what the next part of the stream is going to be until I fucking... Decide to stop doing it because it's going to take a while. But it's going to be cleaning NES contacts from my whole library. But at least you guys will be able to see my entire library of uh, NES games that way. I'm going to get some more isopropyl on there. Uh, music. Music. Um, I, ha I just sold an N64 on eBay, but I have my other one. I could spin the camera around here in a second and show you, John, but that's all plugged up and ready to go, baby. You're plugged in and ready to go, I should say. This doesn't sound like music that could play on a SNES. I think we ran out of time on that other video. No, I don't want to play copyrighted music that isn't video game music. Okay. So, these carts should be all nice and pretty clean and beautiful. Hands full with Warhammer, huh? That's good. I know you sent that a long time ago, but. Okay, so, we'll go with the. Uh, you have one and you feel like it has problems. Like what? I will gladly take a look for you. And if you don't want it, I'll buy it from you, too. Especially if it's an earlier model. Then I could fucking mod the dang thing. Okay. So, actually, I can just have this on the, on the PVM. I'll just um, have to do something else with this camera. But if I did it correctly, everything correctly, I should just be able to slide this thing in like so. And not even press down, and it should work. So, here's hoping. Fuck yeah! It's working. I don't have the audio, though. It's only coming out of the, the PVM. Just give me two seconds. Everything's fine. Beautiful.
whining about me. Oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry. Been a year or so, huh? Yeah, I'll fucking look at it, though. But look! I don't even have that thing pressed down. Fucking sick! It worked. I'm so stoked. I'm so happy. Look at that. Well, let's fucking play it a little bit at least. Don't look at my butt. Stop like. Can you see my butt? Okay, good. I mean, the audio is noisy, but it's fucking analog audio. Here, let me screw with the shutter so it stops doing that. Okay. Um, let's do, let's do the thing. Quickest one ever since I've been playing this again. <gasps> I haven't been able to get DDD yet. Oh, that was slow. I gotta be faster for the next two for sure. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, that was my fucking fastest one! Okay, okay. Yes! Mm, fucking got him! Okay. The video on the stream is being passed through this fucking PVM, too. So sick. It fucking works. Now we can continue putting it all back together. So let me just uh, get all this stuff. Let's see what kind of music is actually playing. Okay, it is. Super Bomberman 3? Is, it, is that what it really sounded like? Is that like FM audio? There was no disc system. Well done. Thank you. Turn that off. Okay. Finish uh, getting this up here. Dude, I'm so, f I'm so stoked. Because that was without even pressing down on the thing. Eh. So many cords. I do have a wireless... Um, we can go back to uh, uh, this one. I do have a wireless controller right here. Beautiful. 2.4 giga smarts. Oh, I can fuck with the shutter again. So it doesn't look so choppy. Okay. But yeah. Adventure Island 2. No. I don't think so. Is that for 64 or NES? I don't know what that game is. But I know I don't have it. So let's get this all back here. Have my light gun here all ready to go. I can stream light gun games with this stuff now. That was the first time I tested the PBM pass through too. It's weird because things are working. Get power video. Get it back here. I fucking love this song. NES, so good. What is, what is it? Adventure Island 2. That's a pretty snug fit, too, for these carts. Not, like, too snug, though. But it fucking works without pressing it down. I'm so stoked. This is one of my childhood games. I have the box for it. Um, where'd it go? I just had the box. Eee. Uh -huh. Fucking love this game. So good. I think it's complete. Oh, it might not be. I might not have the manual for this one. 
Okay, well that one's all cleaned and ready to be put back on the shelf for sure. Okay, so let's finish putting all the screws in the shell now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm my nest collection, I'll bring the rest of it out um, on the stream probably to make sure all the contacts are like super clean. But like all my childhood ones are in the box and the most of the boxes look really good and yeah. Uh, Master Higgins goes to an island and he can ride a skateboard or dinosaur. Okay. That sounds fun. Feels like I'm at work with my driving glove. I used to wear just one driving glove because this hand um, was for an iPod manipulation that didn't work really well through the glove and also um, eating snack. I didn't want to get my gloves all dirty and stuff. So I, anyway. I have to clean that little bit of the top shell, but then this one should be collection worthy now. Should be 100% reliable. And nice and clean. And region bypassed. Uh, region bypassed. I'm so stoked. Because I was testing a bunch of uh, NES games with this earlier. And just wanting to fuck around and play them on that PVM. And I was having to go through all the old fucking issues of the blinking light. Or something not being like perfectly clean in there. And just having glitches in the video. So now, no more. And that problem when you were a kid with the blinking light, you should have never blown on the games. All it, all it takes to fix is just take it out and back in. A couple times, sometimes maybe, but, but that's it. So that should be all the screws for the top shell, except the one that was missing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, okay, so I have that one missing, but whatever. This thing's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, so now, top shell. Um, it's got some dirty, gunky grime on there. It's kinda hard to see, but it's there, I promise. Otherwise though, pretty good looking. The bottom shell has a fucking nick in it, though. A scratch. It sucks. Okay, we'll get my well-used microfiber cloth. And this one's got scratches and stuff, too. And I'll use some LCD screen cleaner. It'll be beautiful. Super beautiful. Um, the top looks good. I don't even need to follow that. I'll just spray the, this side away from the electronics. Okay. I don't know what that is. I don't want to break this shell either. That would be heartbreaking. Cable ties caught in there. I'm not pressing down like super hard though because I don't want to flex the shell so much that it breaks. Still a little gunky. Not as much, but still. Should have just used WD 40. That probably would have lifted whatever the fuck that was immediately. Okay. <laughs> that was a 
Put the six screws back in there. And that'll be that. How long have I been streaming? It's only been 80 minutes. Damn, okay. Too tight. <sighs> Don't wanna break the shell. I'm so I'm so fucking stoked that that worked. I am so happy. Turn this all the way off this. <sighs> and there's nice and chill. I love working on shit like this. I could do this fucking literally all day. I've done more of like this kind of stuff than playing all the games that I put in here. I'll show you my N64 though, John. I forgot I was gonna do that for you. I found um, joystick replacement parts too, online. Like really, really good quality molds of the actual inner parts of the sticks that go bad and make them loose. I just found that like three days ago. And then I found a couple of projects of, of people making hardened, polished, stainless steel um, joystick parts. Like the stick and the bowl of the stick, you know, rubs around in. So I'll get one of those one day and they can finally fulfill the demand for it. But, but there we go. All ready to rock. There's, there's just that one nick like right there. Otherwise this thing would be perfect. But I don't know. I might just keep this one and sell sell this one on eBay. I don't know. I'm just waiting for this one. I'm waiting for the shell to finish retro brighting because it got yellowed. So yeah. So now this one's all good. I guess I could just show you guys me setting it all up again. I don't I don't know. I don't know. More light over here. Oh yeah, that worked. What about this one? That's like way too uneven. Just point it at the ceiling if I can. I need to buy another one of those because they're so good. Okay. So now. We got the regular controller. The light gun. I don't know what to do with this camera now. I have no idea. I should probably set it up somewhere else. But I'm also going to be cleaning more NES games. So never mind. Okay. So we'll get the power in here. Yeah, the audio and the video. <coughs> NES. I need one more power plug. Because all I have right now is the adapter for the one that goes into the NES to work with it. So that's the only thing I have to switch, but all of these are ready to go. And that PS1 on the side, I got the Saturn over here. So cool. Okay, where'd the S video for the Super Nintendo go? Cool. Um, so I guess I could show you the, the N64. Okay, lower. Okay, I have so much shit in here. I got that spaceship controller, though. Little folk. Oh, it's got spot focus on it. It's a fucking spaceship. And there's the box. There's an OEM PlayStation S video cable. Really cool. Sorry. You guys should be able to hear me better. Um, and then there's the modded Dreamcast. Hard to see. And there, there it is, John. 
absolute beauty. And then all the games are right there. And then the rest of my games are right there. There's all my Game Boy games. I'm so stoked about this room. I'm going to need more space soon, though. There's the GBA games. There's my long box PS1 games in that modded Game Boy Color. Super cool. Look, there's a Famicom game, but there's there's the NES games right there. Fucking beautiful. So I gotta clean all of those. So I should probably get on it, huh? Probably. Oh god, sorry. There's my Genesis games. Well, there's three Master System games and then the Sega Genesis games. And then there's uh, GameCube and Wii and Wii U and Switch, 3DS. There's one PS Vita game there. And then eh, there's where all the magic happens. Oh yeah, look, there's there's some modded um, some modded Game Boy. There's my childhood Game Boy. This is my Switch. Oh, this is fun. I like showing people stuff. There's a Game Boy Consoleizer. There's a wireless NES controller. It's hard to see because everything's like, you know, the background. Anyways, there's the, um, that's a Mega SG and FPGA Sega Genesis. That'll also play Sega Master System game. There's PS1. Um, the AVS usually goes there. And then there's GameCube and Wii. Xbox One, PS3, and then there's a modded Atari. Fuck yeah, that thing is so cool. And then yeah, so, so yeah. And then um, there's there it is. There's look at my mixer. Oh wow. Look at my computer. Okay, anyways, sorry, I just have too much fun doing this shit. So now we can. Put it back here. I'm going to get the rest of my, or at least a stack of NES games, and I could showcase those. <coughs> oh, that's right. This lost its zoom since the battery died. <coughs> Beautiful. I'm glad you guys like it. I'm glad. Okay, I'm gonna take this headset off. I gotta. I gotta go get a bunch of games. Where the heck? Oh my god. Oh, hello? Okay. Hello? Hi guys, how's it going? I hope well. I hope it's going beautifully. I found a stack of games. <laughs> okay. So, go fun at a time. Starting with All Pro Basketball. I don't think this was licensed because we got the LA Breakers. And the New York Slicks instead of the Knicks. Beautiful. Oh, geez, this one's kind of dirty. Do they have the manual? There's no dust cover. Do you have the manual, though? It's all nice and clean. Let me uh, adjust this other light really quick. <sighs> Okay, this thing's warm. Oh, jeez, I bumped the carrot. I'm sorry. Sorry, everyone. Okay. I'm going to take a drink of water. Oh, it's so good, water. I'm just going to see what's going on over here on this computer. Okay, there we go. Ugh. Oh, okay. oh, wait, I shouldn't put that there. <clears throat> I bought some fancy cup holders for... They're, like, designed for ATVs, which is okay. But anyways, 
Um, basically, I can clamp it onto my desk. And then that way I don't have to worry about having fucking cups around all this expensive, very sentimentally valuable things. So I'll probe a shabal. So, yeah, there's some gunk right there. It's gross. Bear with, bear with me here. Bear with me. I'm trying to get it to rotate where it needs to. Just, just bear with me. Look at that motherboard. Wow. Just, uh, oh, oh. Okay, got it, got it. Nailed it. Professional streamer. 101. Camera work. Is it level? <laughs> now it is. Oh, good. Good. Thank you for bearing with me. Okay. We'll just get. I need to. I need to run this through the through the dishwasher through the washing machine. Just get that gunk off of there. I'm gonna need to grab more Q-tips and shit too. Yeah, I just I just want to not be afraid of putting anything in that NES and dirtying up the contacts. Okay, so the outside's all nice and clean. You guys ready for some Q-tip action? That one's already kind of dirty. Ugh. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I should have the camera on the other side of me for this. But, I mean, whatever. You guys get the idea. I'm just cleaning carts. Not like you have to see the fucking... The nitty gritty. I, I debated, like, taking these things completely apart and then cleaning the contacts. These ones in the boxes, especially, were already like pretty clean. Like that Q-tip's really not that dirty. When I clean um, ones that I find, well, I haven't found too many lately, of course. But um, the ones that are just loose and in, hanging around in people's basements and shit forever, are so oxidized and dirty and gross. Probably gonna end up going. I should have bought those one-up cards. They make really cool um, cleaning cards for cartridges like this. Yeah. Okay. Those look nice and pretty. Let's get all the fuzzies out of there. <laughs> all right. Oh, that label's kind of dirty too. As long as you're really gentle with the labels. And don't use too much liquid and stuff. Um, you'll be good. Oh, that's just lens flare. Okay. They say there's a spot that's not coming off. But it's just some artistic lens flare. Okay, beautiful. Good dog, go. Now I don't have to worry about putting that one in my NES ever again. Well... Not for a while. Eek. Why you do these? Why do these to me? I just put in box. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. That one's ready to go. All pro basketball. Now this one, I'm pretty sure is already super fucking clean because I super wanted to test this one out. This was one of my most recent acquisitions from my NES library, but it's Arkista's Ring. The box is kind of beat up, but and there used to be stickers here. These used to belong to the local rental shop a long, long time ago. And I don't know, they have like these Velcro things on them too. 
stupid. But hey, what can you do? And then, yeah. Stickers. But, I mean, otherwise, it's still in box, so that's good. And it's still got the dust cover. And then some fuck, I don't know who, but they... They fucking... Look at that. Look at that bullshit. Who engraves W on a cart? That's the only thing wrong with, like, some of these. The most recent ones that I got from, from a guy. But, yeah, this, this game is really cool. Really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So, that Q-tip's fucked. That one looks fucked. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure this one's, like I said, already really clean. Yeah. It is. So, I'm just going to make sure it's dry and buff it out. And then we'll go on to the next cot. But yeah, Arkista's Ring. Maybe at the end of all of this, we'll play it for a bit. Because that, that game's really cool. I think. <laughs> I want to get uh, a mod. I want to mod one of these NESs for, like, RGB output. One day. That'd be really cool. Huh? <sighs> Uh, this was another recent acquisition that I don't believe I've even ever tested. But we got Ryan San Sandberg plays Bases Loaded 3. This one looks a little bit sun faded. But otherwise the box is in really good condition aside from uh, another sticker from the rental place. And a uh, weird Velcro majiggy like that. Dumb. Really dumb. Does this one have the man manual? No. Oh, we got our first sticker removal. All right, that calls for. Go God. Ooh. Okay. Anyways, I don't know. I'm trying to have fun with his massive zoom range. It's not really that massive, but. But it gets a job done. So, for the goo gone. It's child poop. Just give us three. Okay. Um. You know what? I'm going to have this like this. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So, where's. Is this one my goo gone one? I think so. So, I'm just going to get it a little wet there. Just get it a little wet. You know, just a little bit. Just enough to cover that sticker because it's kind of close to the label, not too close. But we'll just get that sticker all covered. Start loosening up the adhesive. Goo Gone is amazing. It's amazing. Brenda, are you watching? I'll show you why Goo Gone's amazing. I'll show you. I'll show you. Skip. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm back, I, I think. I think I'm back. Remember this game, Brenda? This is the one you gave me. This isn't my copy, but... Eh? This one's yours. Now mine, because you gave it to me. It's mine. But remember? I had the EB Games sticker there. And another one there. Gugan is amazing. It's beautiful. I'm not sponsored, obviously, but anyways, so there's that. And then I do have nails for playing guitar, but they're also really useful for this kind of stuff. So we'll try and just take this off as gingerly as I can. Oh no, it's got a rip right there already. Oh no. Wipe it. Wipe it. Eh. Careful. 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 Patrick. I got the lid off. Ah. Yes, yeah, so. We were going to do that tonight. We have like a million other games that we want to play. Like, um, like, uh, what was it? Grounded. What else? 
grounded. There's ground. I still have your hard drive, too. <laughs> I could drop it on the porch really quick, though, when I need a restroom break. So now there's just a little bit of adhesive residue, so we just gook on it. Just wipe it real good. Really, really good. And the rest of this cart's kind of dirty, too. <laughs> Beautiful. Huh? Beauty. Okay. So there's that. I didn't expect the expect these carts to be like dirty and sh like as dirty as they are. But I want them to just go into my collection and me not have to worry about having to clean anything in my collection, if you know what I mean. It's only the new stuff I'll have to process like this. The label's kind of coming up a little bit on the corner there. It's a tragedy. This is music's relaxing. Huh? It's beautiful. Okay. Make sure I put the lid back on this so I don't spill it. This never happened before, but, you know, can never be too safe. Get some more um, isopropyl. And we'll wipe the shit out of these contacts. These ones aren't too bad. But I'd hope not. It's a boxed game with a dust cover, even. I mean, it's kind of, kind of dirty. Hey, <laughs> God! And I'm probably gonna be want to be a lot more thorough. I don't want to bore anyone on stream. Cause now, I mean, this is just really simple, mundane shit. I could try and fix my other NES, but that's scary. I might do that another day. And I also might just want to, like, take these carts apart. You know what? Fuck it. We'll do it. We'll do it on one. <coughs> so I'll get my Nintendo bit set here. <sighs> Velcro. Get the little one. The littler one. It should be what we need for these. <sighs> this is what I do to carts before I sell them on eBay. I completely take them apart and take pictures of the PCB so people know that they're authentic. And then when you have it apart, you can, like, really polish those contacts. I even have a fiberglass pen for the the really stubborn ones with, like, a lot of oxidation and corrosion and all that stuff. Mother fur! Empty most of these carts are. There it is. Where's your ROMs? Eh. Eh. Beautiful. Okay, so now we can really clean these contacts up. They look pretty good. A little bit of oxidation though. So we can use uh, some electronic cleaner. <laughs> Be really liberal with it. Just everywhere, man. <laughs> I 
This shit already fucking dried. Okay, we'll do it this way. All right, sick. <laughs> I get the light to shine off of it. There we go, a little bit. Pretty clean. Call that good. latency test my whole fucking setup I found out like when I want to stream from my PC and stuff because <sighs> I added like a whole bunch of USB things to my stream PC so all the lanes are getting clogged up so the latency went up with all the audio and the video so that'll be fun not that anybody cares that'll be fun <laughs> okay Cool. Another one done, Joe. If I can get back in here. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. We're going to end on this one. Because I need to eat a little bit of stuff, too. You care's good. Look, it's fucking Contra, baby! box doesn't close very well. But hey. Beautiful. I just got a Japanese uh, Game Boy Contra that's worth like 30 bucks. Yeah, Contra's cool as fuck. I have Contra Hardcore on the Genesis. That game's so much fucking fun. It's super hard that I suck at it. <gasps> I don't know what that is. Let's see if we can just uh, rub it out with it. Oh, beautiful. There's some white markings on the back of it. And now they're gone! Oh, look! Ew, it's all dusty right there. Ew. 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 My focus is better. Look at that! Ew. Okay, we'll use this Q-tip for that. to be wet. I don't know if you guys can hear this squeakiness. On the other side, who would have who would have fucking thought? Who? Okay, cool. That part's done. Then we'll see exactly how dirty these things are. Let's see if I need to take it completely apart and clean it. I really should have bought those one-up cards. Test it, make sure. Mm. 
Okay. You guys ready? Beautiful camera work. Beautiful. Okay, are we ready? I shouldn't have wrapped this all the way up again. Oh well. Be fine. Oh, the Saturn cord is. Oh. Okay. So good. Okay, we're ready. I haven't pushed it down. Fuck yeah. Woo! Okay, I forgot how to play this. Don't don't laugh at me. Let me get a little more coil. Okay. Huh. Huh. Ah! Forgot about that part. Oh man, video games are fun! Whee! I don't like this one. This one's poop. Hey! How's a PDM looking like on stream? Looks okay. I can fuck with this shutter and get rid of that rolling band really quick. Let's see. Did that fix it? What about that? Okay. Oh god damn it! Let's just, let's just run. Hey, hey, oh, hey. I quit. It works though. Man, I like this setup. This setup's cool as fuck. So I'm gonna keep playing. And see, look, it's just still not pushed down. It's just in there. Woo. Uh, who wants to come play NES? Arr! Shoot it! <laughs> Watch out, weird, weird one again. Ew, I should stop picking this up because it's uh. Oh. Oh, I will hit him. Okay. Yeah, get fucked, loser. Oh, no! <laughs> Don't judge me. Stop it. Beat Saber on the tomorrow. On the morrow. All right. Um, that was Contra, everyone. Look at that. The video on the stream is coming through this thing. It's so fucking cool! Should we play some light gun games? Alright, you convinced me. Fuck it. I can clean up a light gun game. Uh, do -do -do -do. Let's get a light gun game cleaned up. What light gun game? I got Hogan's Alley. We got Duck Hunt. Um... I mean, I guess those two are probably the most entertaining ones. I haven't played Hogan's Alley in forever. Let me do that one. 
It should be right here. There we go. Classic duck hunt. I can do duck hunt too. I want to clean up this Hogan's Alley first. Um, let me get that game out of the machine. Beautiful. Okay, Contra's good to go. This label's kind of dirty. <sighs> yeah, I can definitely do this stuff all day. My favorite. Okay. Since I'll probably be playing this one a lot. Let's do the deep clean on it. <gasps> See how quick I can get it taking these apart. <clears throat> I just don't know if, um, I know these two cameras are in sync with the audio. I don't know if the output of that TV is the, I guess there'll be a good test bed. All right, there we go, baby. Look how little. Look how fucking cute. Wow, those are really good looking. <laughs> oh, I didn't get this much. Fuck. Okay, dry side. You know, nice and buffed out and pretty. All right, this one's ready to rock. Why is it no one to work? Okay, got it. Nailed it. Okay. Make sure that there's ROMs in there good. Okay. Alright, break it on stream. Is it just gonna be like that? Is it just gonna be like that? Just hang real? Feels like it shouldn't, like, pop up at all. But we're good, okay. Okay, now I'll go get Duck Hunt and make sure that's all nice and sparkly clean. Huh. <sighs> wish this cord was longer. Okay, I got it. Might as well get a water break right now, too, though. Mm. <sighs> 
Okay. Got kind. <laughs> I'll just give this one the real good ones over too. <laughs> Nice and relaxing, huh? Oh, well, my fucking hairs. Okay. <whistles> oh, this one's also cute. Wow. There's like nothing to that one. <laughs> it's so fucking. It's like nothing. Sorry. Just admiring it. Okay. Uh, Okay, making sure we're all good to go, baby. Get a dry, clean part of it. <sighs> Buff it out. Okay. <laughs> well, I hope everyone is doing well. Maybe I should do ASMR um, cart cleaning. Maybe that. Holding this microphone were better. Hello, everyone. How's it going? No, I'm just screwing. A screw back. <clears throat> <coughs> okay, almost ready. We're almost there. Starting with the duck hunt. Okay. <laughs> I don't want this to get in the way of where I'm going to stand, though. Even, ah, uh, help! I can't see. I can't see. Does that look better? Good enough for more than angle is. Okay. Um. Well, if we're gonna be doing this, I'll be right back. Maybe. Maybe I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. How are y'all? I hope well. 
It's gonna be hard to click a mouse like this, maybe. Fine, it's everything fine. Okay. Um. There's so many wires and stuff. So I'm gonna you wanna stand in like here ish. Huh? 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 I'm gonna move the chat over to you. La la la. Okay. We good? Had to get my shooting gloves on at least. Okay. Uh, duck hunt. I'll try it without pushing it down again. <sighs> All right, cool. <sighs> oh, no. <sighs> okay. I don't have my shoes on. Okay, we're doing it, baby. We're doing it. I, I can't really tell how this looks. But hopefully it looks good. I mean, you say it looks good, so I believe you. Get it, baby. This grip angle's quite aggressive on this thing. Oh no! Huh! Oh, almost got away with that one! Holy shit! Super clear, good. I mean, I did spend way too much money on stupid cameras and all this shit. So <laughs> fucking better look good. I'm playing light gun games on stream, guys. This is fun. We did it! Could do a little bit. Eh, fuck it. It's fine for now. It's fine. It's fine. Got him! Need a better solution so that stops happening. Okay. <sighs> okay, we're good to go, baby. Got him! Oh. oh wait, wait, wait. I know, I know. Okay, I'll shoot I'll shoot these last couple. I I did think about that core doing that shit. That's why I specifically bought those hooks to land in. Okay. Hey, and then we can close the hook. There we go. This ain't going anywhere now. Unless I flick it really hard. Okay. Okay, round three. I don't know how long this is gonna go. We'll see. This grip angle makes my my hand sore. It's it's fucking extreme. Okay. Got him. Well, this is fun. I like this. Get him! Fuck yeah! Okay. So far, so good. I know it's only 1080 30, but hey!
Oh, I was going to move the chat box. That's that's what I was going to do. All right, come on, Peter. Oh, 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 oh. Is it, doesn't Duck Hunt have clay shooting? I think it does, right? Hell yeah! What's making a noise? Like this? <laughs> Got him! Trying to tree that one. Why did oh, it's okay. I know why. I know why it's making the noise. Okay, everything's fine. Is that it? We're good. Okay, gonna move this over. And now I can. Don't have to look across the camera to see it. Okay. I think I'm gonna fuck off after this round. And then, um. I don't know. Clay shooting, maybe? Do my still. Okay. Got him! Woo! Still, you guys still have those bands across. Okay. We might reduce them. Eh, no, not completely. The lens is too fast. But now it looks all chop. Oh, whatever. Everything's fine. Just ironing out the kinks, baby. What do you say? What do you say we do like some trap shooting or something? Clay shooting? Okay. My grip angle, it was gone there. It was gone. Going to play more now? All right, man, have fun. I'm playing a fucking 35 year old like a game! Woo! Missed two. Fuck me. I wanna try some Hogan's Alley though. Let's see how that goes. Uh, okay. Here's some good old duck hunt. Now some fucking Hogan's Alley, baby. Yep, and it works without even pushing it down. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. Um. Oh, the trick shot was my favorite. I played this one so much as a kid. It's only a hundred right there. <gasps> Fucking nailed it. Woo! <laughs> Let's do it. When we miss one, damn it. <clears throat> Missed one. Oh well. Let's do it. Oh, there's two. Right Okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Whoa! 
<sighs> this is so weird. I envisioned doing this months ago, and now it's actually happening. I lost my I lost my front sight. I lost it. Okay. You good? Okay. Cool. We could play some PS1 like games and shit too. Oh, okay. Okay. So anyway, that's that's trick shot. I could do that like all day. Um Sorry. <laughs> That's not the one that I want to do. I want to do, um, I think it's this one. It is this one. Okay. Okay. No, it took a little too long. Good. Why is he there? Why is that cop there? Fuck you! <laughs> okay. This trigger's got some travel on it. Two hours. It was fun though. Four misses. So oh, sorry, old man. Okay. See, that guy and the cop look very similar. Very, very similar. All right. Killing it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Why the fuck would you run out of cover when there's like shooting and shit going on, huh? As soon as I started, I was like, "Why stop it!" All right, okay, okay. So far, so bad. Not doing so hot, but hey, I am down the bottom one first too. All right, all right, let's do it. It's me, sharpshooter. Woo! Ah, oh, damn it! I fucking missed the stationary one. God dang it! All right. Getting a little faster. It's nighttime now. Bad guys are more bad during the night time, or something. I don't know. Fuck me. Oh, I missed it. Okay. 
<laughs> I know, I missed him. Okay. When do you fail? Is it when you miss 10? We'll probably find out. If I miss one. Yep. Okay. Well, dang it. Oh, well. We did okay, I guess. But now that I have Lycom games ready to stream at a moment's notice. See that lady? He's a professor. Okay, the police. Shoot gangs only. Okay. Look at this. Look at this thing. It's so cool. I like it. This is my childhood one. All nice and clean. You ready to go? I'm surprised that composite looks that good coming out of there. But it does, so that's cool. But I think, what time is it? 9.30? So I don't know. Should I keep going? Should I? Should I keep going? Sorry, I was just reading Discord. Okay, um, do I have any other like gun games? I need to get more NES like gun games. I think all I've got are shooting range. Um, yeah. I think that's really about it. Sucks. I need I need more because this is really fun. Fuck it. Um, should we do a trick shot? Any more trick shot? Let's do it. Wipe it! Woo, look at it. <laughs> this will probably look so much better in like 72060 though. Cause the only coming out of here, it's going straight into the TV at like 240p. And then it's coming out of the TV and going into a retro tank and then coming out of the retro tank at 480p to the stream. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I didn't really plan for much further than that. I guess I can keep cleaning stuff, but it's fun playing video games. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll probably just call it there, I guess, and go get some food. I hungry, I very hungry. So, um. <coughs> So thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And, um, good luck at me. And I'll see you guys on the next one. It'll be lots of fun. Hope <laughs> Love you! Bye!